We're Dallas and Hannah. We make our living traveling around, thrifting for toys and clothes for resale. I know, it fits. Oh, it looks good. For this week's adventure, we're heading to Vegas. There's just no telling what we're gonna find. Subscribe for more adventures like this. It will help us out a ton. Oh, hey, if you've clicked on this video, you have clicked on what is sure to be our biggest thrift-a-thon yet. We're gonna go to Vegas this week, and we're gonna go for four days, and every one of those four days, we are gonna go to the Goodwill bins. But we're also gonna do some half-off Monday at Savers. We're gonna do some regular Goodwill, some thrifting with friends. You name it, if it's thrifting this week, we're gonna do it. So buckle your seat belts. But before we take off for this wild thrifting ride, pretty please check a couple links in our video's description. Number one, you can come join our Discord and come hang out with us in between weekly videos and show us what you've thrifted or you've gotten at yard sales, et cetera, et cetera. But also there's a link below to our podcast channel where we do our live shows, uh, but also we've just posted our first pre-taped podcast that we've ever done. We just shot an entire video, spending a whole week in Vegas thrifting, and we learned a lot that we want to talk about that doesn't really fit into uh, our weekly video, into the format that we're currently shooting. Go check that link out after this video is over, but stick around right now for some thrifting. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. How are you feeling about the bins? I'm excited. It's been a while since we've been there. It was really good last time. 20 miles away. We couldn't quite make it to the bins without filling up. All right, let's get right into it. Let's not waste any time. Vegas Goodwill Bins. Yay! Day one. We did it. Ooh, and anime. Okay, so I am able to sell sizes down to 22 inches in the waistband, so like... Oh, they are they're 23 inches, so... Wow. The tricky thing with children's size, though, is that they're so petite. The legs on them are super, super short. So how long do they need to be? I mean, these are 24 and a half. That's fine. They would probably be like an ankle ankle length um, but they are a tapered leg so I think that would be totally fine. Is that fine. fixable? This is completely fixable. No big deal. Even this up here completely oh, fine. Yeah, it's right on the waistband. <gasps> Look at these snaps. Oh my god these are so cute. They snap and zip. That's wild. They do. Oh my god That's I love crazy. them. Those are like cute. <laughs> if those were 22 I feel yeah, like no, these are. Yeah those are tiny. Oh I want them to Oh! Ooh. Oh! For 22 is some that's, stretch. That's gonna be a small person. This is a really small pit, yeah, though. That's sure. the problem. Yeah. Boomba plush. That's so tiny. That might be the smallest one I've ever found. You ready for find of the day, though? What? That's pretty crazy. This is probably better though. Me. Is it me or the size of Frodo's feet just a little bit wrong? <laughs> they should be bigger. They should be bigger. Also, there's this kid running around getting all the good stuff. I got his go bags. Aww. He threw this back. All right, wrong, wrong case. Nothing. Hey, something. Hey, better than nothing. And then I found that in the book bin. Cool. Oh, yeah. What? Look. Second one. I found two switch cases. I think nice. I saw someone with this. I think they threw it back.
thing I found today was actually a game that my grandma had in her game closet that I played when I was a kid. It's a very old Sesame Street game, Missing Matchups. I know there's not a lot of like little pieces in here, but these little cone pieces are all that we need. I'm not feeling super confident because there's no sound, so maybe they're just packed in tightly, I don't know. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. I mean, I played this when I was little, little, little. Because it's basically just like a memory game. There's two slides, that's awesome. Oh, <laughs> it's ripped. They're all gone, there's not even a single cone. Oh, what a shame. It's in great condition if it wasn't for just those little cone pieces being gone. What a bummer. Well, it's cool to go down memory lane. You can find things that fit adults. Those like bell bottom. They are. Those, you know what those are? Those are April O'Neil pants. They are. <laughs> Oh, they're so beautiful. These are, they're handmade. Someone's mom just like, was a beast. Oh, wow. It's a little dress. That's beautiful. You can't see, but my jaw's dropped. <laughs> That's a get. What? Oh, oh little baby. Teeny tiny. Oh my God. What? That's beautiful. But it's so small. Oh, that's a shame. Just like that much more would have been fine. Oh, that's stunning though. <laughs> I can't throw it back yet. So many teeny tiny. <laughs> Excuse me. Those are crazy. Those are cute. They're also ripped. If those were an adult size, that's like a hundred bucks. Yeah. Skates, baby. I'm so pumped. All right, this is one day's worth of stuff. You think we can get three more in here? I think so. We'll be fine. This, though. Bro. Oh, baby. <laughs> it's okay. It's perfectly fine. Play me a Lizzo song. I don't know any Lizzo song. <laughs> stolen our car overnight. Oh. <laughs> All right, where to first, savers or savers? Savers. Savers. No video games in the lockbox, so we're going straight to the media section next, check the video games there. So we walked in, I walked over to the shoes, and I guess I should have come to the men's jeans first because there was about five or six people just ransacking the jeans. 
they have a ton here though so it's totally fine i managed to pick up a few black pair which pretty good um these little rustlers are only 4.99 so half off that pretty decent i'm gonna take one more pass through just to make sure that there's nothing else that i have to have to have but uh I feel like we did a good pass through it. Oh, I love these beans with like the little plaid on the inside. Just roll up the bottom of the hem and you get this little like plaid pop in the cuff. It's really cute. They were a little expensive though. All right, let's try toys. I mean, any pop in box for two bucks. Two bucks, I'll take it. That's a movie. This is cheap. This is a definite. Yeah, let's get that. See, I really wanted to find some trade card stuff for this trip for my antique mall because I resell a lot of it, but I'd realistically only sell this for three. So to pay $1.50 for all of them to sell these bundles for three, I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking about the sports cards though. So last time we came to Vegas, we mostly spent time at the bins, but I managed to find a brat stall at the bins. Someone else found it for me and gave it to me, which was really awesome, but Maybe we'll find a Savers Brad stall. That would be really awesome. So far, lots of things that are similar, but not quite. Like she's similar, but not right. Hmm. We have a lot of dolls here. There's another one of those same ones where it's just like so close, but not quite. Keep throwing me off. I get excited and then let down. All right, no luck here. Just about any inbox pop, even if it's a real cheapie. I'll get it if it's real cheap and put it in my antique mall, mark it up a bit and make some money. But this is hilarious. A whole wall of Gabby Gabbies. Maybe I should get two. Yeah, I'll take this place. Right, take that too. Thank you very much. Xbox 360 inbox two controllers it'll be 30 bucks right now that's a lot more than i want to pay but i'm thinking i'm probably going to do it just because it's inbox has an extra controller has the connect in there too uh they give little ring numbers to hand in at the cashier i like that and this is why you triple check the bag wall i did not look in the baby bids over here it's one two controllers pretty good condition three bucks each I made a killing at one of my antique malls this week just because I put a bunch of controllers in there like this, so we'll get these. One of the ones I had that was $55 new for $16. Are you kidding me? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I'll get them because they're cheap. I like Thank you. Yeah. Okay, we're on to our second Savers, and I'm pretty excited about it. This is a really neat uh, retro looking storefront. It's really cute. And back in Phoenix, they're still doing limits of how many people can be in the store at once. So every time you leave your first Savers after open in Phoenix and go to the second one, you have to wait in line. Pretty nice to walk up to this one and not have to wait in line. Yes. I love when this happens. I just walked into the door, which is right there, and I was headed to the jeans. And look at this, just spotted it out of the corner of my eye. They're only $4.49, half off that. This is so cute. Love it, we'll get these. Yes! They are everywhere. And I mean everywhere. They're multiplying. Now we're talking, let's go. I am killing it in the short section today. I'm so excited, I just walked over to come to the men's jeans. Found these little Levi shorts for $3.99 can't beat two bucks but let's see if we can find anything good in men's jeans at the last place the jeans were like ransacked in five seconds so I'm not expecting much but we'll see what we can see some black Levi's orange tabs 11.49 it's not bad all right that savers was pretty awesome I think we'll have to sit down later in this video and talk about some things that we noticed because there's some things that are very different about the shoppers here, about the content of the stores. Just a wildly different experience from Phoenix. But, and I got a bunch of clothes, which is good. This pop, I don't know, I might have to keep it. Probably not, but it's awesome. And this sealer here, look at this. I'm betting there's proprietary bags, and I kind of knew that when I bought it. But 
the proprietary bags are probably for the vacuum and the sealer unit probably or actually definitely will work without the proprietary bags depending on the content of the plastic of the bags that you use them with but the reason i bought it is because we have this big industrial machine to seal our bags for our antique malls but it's a very robust machine and the fumes from it are quite toxic so you have to use it in a ventilated area and no doubt if you're using anything that melts plastic use it in a ventilated area you'll still have to do that but i'm hoping this is both a little less toxic and a little more precise because the one that we have again being an industrial machine is just it's overkill for what we need and this will take up a lot less room so goodbyes goodbyes in the second one are we going to more savers or are we going to the bins Ooh, the correct answer think? is both <laughs> <laughs> hold the phone hold on we just left savers and uh we're actually driving down this back alley to get out Hannah made me pull over because... Isn't it? Uh, if it's not Steven Universe, it's... It's a loose it, interpretation of it? It's maybe? within the realm. But I just saw it in the corner of my eye. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> we'll have to check them out on Instagram. Maybe it is. I bet you they've posted that on their Instagram. At Green Morning and 2032. I saw Garnet. I'm at, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it did, it did look like Garnet. It's pretty though. These are cool. We ought to bring some of your clothes out here and take some photos. Woo! It's all right. It doesn't matter that graffiti background photos are cliche. They're awesome. All right, let's keep moving. We got seven miles, 18 minutes to the next one. Savers number three, baby. Let's go. I'm telling you, I left my Pixel sunglasses at home and I'm lost without them. And it's uh, the high today is going to be 111. Whew. And it, you know, the heat's one thing. It's fine. We're used to that because we're from Phoenix, but the brightness, the yeah, brightness of the sun is what gets me. It's very bright out here. It's pretty mass. Start of the dish section in this one. Look at this cookie jar. I can't believe this is still here. This is so cute. Five ninety nine. That's not bad. Let's see if we can find it. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> well, I guess that's why it's still here. It's just a decorative piece. It's not actually a cookie jar. That's a shame. This would have been so cute. This is cute too. It is corningware. Oh, no, no. I guess we'll get that. I hope it makes the trip home safely. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's kind of a thin glass though. Oh well, it's only a dollar. It's fine. Gabby Gabby is following me. I'm being followed. Stop it interesting i found the video games here and honestly this is just about more games than i saw at the other stops they're all bagged up so I just better make sure there's nothing real good in these loose bags it's a lot of rando pc stuff honestly is all i see okay i'm gonna make a hard right turn here these are my size and they're really nice and i can barely even tell they're worn they look really comfortable and I need some knot crocs. You know what I mean? Do you ever you ever have a need for knot crocs? Shame, I know. So I've been striking out at every women's jeans section since we've been shopping at Savers. And I found this really interesting pair of overalls. A pair of Levi's overalls, which I'd be so excited about, except do you see it? Do you see what's missing? You see it now? The straps are just gone, so we're just gonna leave that. Oh yeah. Much cushion. I feel like I could do some jumping jacks, but I won't. <laughs> Let me see the other one. Nah, we'll just carry it out, thank you. I'm super excited about this. What is it? It's just a game, a drum game for PlayStation 2. I didn't get to get a shot of me getting this out of the lockbox, but the lockboxes, did you even see the lockbox in this place? I didn't. Hidden over there in the corner, right inside the door. And it was a very small lockbox area. Most most savers I've been to have five or six lockboxes. This one barely had two. But this was tucked in the back there, so I, I had her put my name on it. And it's got everything in it but the game. Oh. 
which is good because it's very easy to find these missing pieces because they have these stands and the drumsticks and all. That's crazy. And it was only, it was 15 bucks. It was marked 30, so I got it for 15. This should end up being the last savers today, I think. And it looks like a slightly nicer one, maybe, than the ones we've been to. It also looks like there might be a line outside the door. I don't know. Now, listen, I understand people buying the weird Vegas souvenir stuff aren't the ones that live here. They're the ones buying it and leaving town. So I understand that there's not going to be a whole lot of that souvenir kind of stuff here. But I did expect to see a little bit more of it in the thrift stores just because, like, places with overstock will donate to thrift store. I don't know. I just kind of expect to see more. But I didn't think much about this kind of thing. And I shouldn't be as surprised to see it as I am, but this is pretty awesome. These are like backlit glass uh, signs for, you know, jackpot slot machines and stuff. And uh, I'd really love to buy one if one of them were anything that like I knew something about. None of them are, so I'm not going to, but it is cool to see. It's really cool. I'd love to thrift here a little more often to see that kind of thing more. It's really cool. And then this is Tiger, Furry Frenzies. I don't know anything about it. All right. Finally, some pops that aren't that same one. Hydro Man, $3.50 uh, each. So I'm gonna buy a couple of these. Probably buy a Voldy. I'm kind of actually bummed they're here because the line to check out right now is insane. But there's a lot of self checkouts here, so maybe it moves faster. Also, I should probably buy that. How much is it though? All right, I'll get a Simba, maybe since they're even. $1.50, I'll get a couple of each. Two of you. This is just stock for my antique malls. I'm not looking to make a lot of money here. Two of you. These Voldies though, man. I gotta get a few of those. I'm gonna have to go get a cart. Okay, I've been seeing a whole lot of Disney Infinity here for pretty high prices that I don't want to pay, which is a bummer because I'd love to go home with some. I need to restock my antique mall because somebody bought several hundred Disney Infinity from one of my toy booths all in one go. They called us with a really reasonable offer and I took it and they bought them all. Uh, but I did also just find a pop here and I'm normally not so good at recognizing these guys, but I've been watching The Hobbit so much I knew that was foreign. I want you to look at these listings on eBay. 110 zero bids in box, $51, eight bids. And this is just listing, that's crazy. It's an easy 50 bucks, probably gonna be a pretty easy 80 bucks. We're gonna definitely pay four bucks for that. Let's go. It's been a good little while since we found a rare pop. Uh, we've had a couple of times where we've lucked out and sold, you know, inbox pops for a hundred bucks or so. It's just been a while. It's been a couple months. So sweet, super rare Thor and Oaken Shield. Oh, really? Super rare. Like the, the cheapest you can get it right now is there happens to be a bid up for that's like up to 50 bucks Ooh. for a loose one. I mean, that's just really awesome that we found him because we've been watching these. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's so cool. He's, he's dope. Um, so I bought a flute. <laughs> Another one? A uh, second flute for the trip. Give them that. It's actually way nicer than the other one. Oh, okay. I'm having trouble with this. All right, well, got lots of stuff for our antique malls. This trip has been very, very good for our antique malls. Uh, I bought a second flute. <laughs> second flute for the trip. Uh, probably gonna resell this one, or actually I'm gonna trade it in at a uh, store back home. I paid 24, I'll probably get about 100 and trade in for it, which is sweet. And uh, this one pop's about to pretty much pay for everything we spent today, so bueno. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, we are going back to the bins here in Vegas now, but listen, it's really packed in there and it's really crowded. So it's difficult to film here. I'll try to do what I can, but you're not gonna see a lot of this today because it's just too hard, but we're hoping to find some good stuff. All right, well, last time we were here, do you remember me finding all those sports cards? I ended up giving them away to someone, but I found some this time. Look at all this. This is insane. All sports cards, right? Oh my gosh. And then, I don't know, just a couple other little things, but look, the crown jewel. I can't believe that. This one, it was just laying on top of all of them. It wasn't even buried. And I, I swiped it up right before some other people came over and like, you know. Oh 
Tupac. Young Buck. Nas. Wow. I'm gonna take most of this. Have you found anything? Jeans? I found a ton of Levi's. Nice. <laughs> Holy crap, leave the bins. Uh, they run up all these cards for three bucks. That's nuts. Three bucks. I gotta, I gotta call me Brian for three bucks. These don't even matter. You got a bag full of jeans. <laughs> these are really heavy. Hey, look at that Minecraft sword. Hey. All right, the best restaurant on earth is just a block up. Let's go to that. So last time we were in Vegas, we ate down the strip at this place called Dirty Dogs because Hannah likes a lote. This place has like a lote, lote fries, a lote burgers. And uh, we didn't know last time, but there's a place off the strip. On the strip, it's miserable. You're waiting an hour in line just to get it. This is a sit down restaurant, still really busy. Uh, but it's, it's like the wait for the food's 30 minutes, but that's still better than waiting in line down there. But this place is really cool. It's got a bunch of rappers on the wall. Colby over there. Funny thing is, I bought some classic rap CDs, including Snoop Dogg, and I bought a, uh, I bought a Colby card. Why don't you whip that out? You ready for this? Don't show anybody else. <laughs> don't walk around waving that around. It's like pulling $100 bills out. All right, actually, here, let me see it. Let's do this real quick while we're waiting for our food. Uh, I'll do a screen recording on my phone and we'll look this card up real quick. I, I actually have no idea what it's going to be worth. I'm going to search Kobe Bryant and then Tops. And then there's usually a number. Yeah, 138. And search. So on eBay, it comes up listed right now. Okay, I, I didn't even think about this. I'm not really a sports card kind of guy, so I don't know a ton about them. Not like I know Pokemon, but there's a bunch of graded cards. So graded, a PSA 8, which is, you know, it's not perfect. It's 300 bucks. I wonder what a PSA 10 looks like. Nine, $900 for a PSA 9. Uh, but let's look at some ungraded. I think this first listing, and now mind you, we're just looking at listings. We haven't looked at sold yet, but this is in this same kind of case, 300 bucks. And that's looking 500 bucks, bid up to $79 loose, bid up to, so these are ongoing bids. Um, let's, uh, let's see what it's sold for recently. Okay. Took an offer listed at 225, took an offer listed at two. Here's a PSA 9, which bid up to 500 bucks. So there's a realistic look at what like a PSA grade 9 looks like. Um, same thing, 575 PSA 9. Uh, $128 loose, uh, sold on July 14th. Sorry about that, you guys. And then this is a Chrome version, so Ivan's texting me. I've already sent Ivan a picture of the card. Uh, so it's like a reprint or something? That was eight bucks. This is not. This is whiteboard or not chrome. You know, I wish this thing was perfect enough to get it graded. Because I would, you know, it takes a while to get stuff graded right now because things are so hype. Are you guys smudgy? You look smudgy. Is that better? Um, no. <laughs> no? Exact same. Uh, but like, the corners on it are pretty rough. It, it did not live its whole life in this case. Both bottom corners are bad. It's not gonna show up on camera very well, but in the back, yeah. We've got three bad corners, only one good one. Nope, they're all bad. So that would that would only grade probably six or seven like those other ones on here do. Again, I'm no expert, but it's at least 100, it's probably an easy 150 bucks right now. I don't know though, I don't know, maybe you keep it if this will, appreciate we could sell it 10 years from now or if we should just get our money now what do you think comment below all right now hold it is this a cover photo cover photo Kobe Smile. in the background <laughs> <laughs> got your recommendations um i think they always go for the patty melt dogs and like a super big cheese freak the lote dog garlic fries what'd you get I got their house dog. I house just want dog? to try the base and we can go from there. That's what I got last time. So I've, I've had that. That's what we're here for though. Yes. I wanted to get two of those, but that's not a meal, so. <laughs> I'm only putting this clip in to make Ivan jealous. This one's for you, Ivan. I wish you were here. You too, Monique. But... I miss Monique. What? I miss Monique. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, I stand before you a brand new man since the last time we talked. Um, I have put off getting into sports cards for a long time, and I still wouldn't sit here and tell you that I'm getting into them, but you guys that watch regularly know that a couple episodes ago, I built this elaborate card table to resell trading cards, collectible cards, stuff like that at my antique mall because I have so much of that stuff. Uh, I do collect a lot of it, but all my doubles, I like to have a place to sell them. Uh, and I figured for that card table that I've made, putting some sports cards in there, especially recent sports cards, like a lot of what I bought today, all this right here, this is all 2021, or 2020 and 2021 hockey cards. So they're all very recent. And I think it's a timely sell for my antique mall. But much like the Kobe that I've already showed you, there's a lot of information, you know? I knew nothing about sports cards and reselling them and pricing them uh, before I bought all this stuff today. And I've sat here and learned about, you know, what to look for. Rookie cards, special edition cards, just every different set of trading cards has special stuff. So like these football, basketball cards that I've sorted out here, uh, there's a lot of, they're all hollow or foil, which is dope, but the ones in this particular set that tend to be more valuable are, like most sports cards I'm finding out, rookie cards are sought after and then this particular set these prismatic cards are a little bit more valuable so what's really cool is you know i i've learned five or six things to look at like distinguishing reprints reprint, from non-reprints for older cards because like uh, i had a scare for a second because I, I was like oh crap this card might just be worth a buck or two but there are reprints of this card that are worth a buck or two this is the original one and it's still worth a hundred or two so i i'm like in this hotel room on my laptop having an overload right now because there's just so much information in these hockey cards there's some really valuable rookie cards in it that I, I've, I've been going through stack by stack looking for not a lot of high hopes there but I, I, it has been interesting that so many stacks of these cards and look I've sorted them all come over here with me there's there's some football basketball over there or those are basketball I think and then here's the football ones that are kind of the same set and different three different sets of baseball and this is all just like complete nonsense random bs and then now there's the basketball cards so that was half the football cards over there uh it's it's cool i i like learning new skill sets for reselling i obviously have a lot more to go with these sports cards i'm just kind of i've got a little notebook and i'm just writing things down you know like oh look for rookie cards oh look for this oh look for that and uh it, it's helping i don't know exactly what I'm going to do with all of them once we get back home. I'll probably do bundles, big stacks for a few dollars or whatever, depending on how current or not or sought after they are at the time. But I could I could price out a handful of cards. I've, I've I found four or five cards in each stack that are worth, you know, a dollar, five dollars a piece, or at least they've sold recently on eBay or sports card reselling sites for a few bucks so I, I i don't know but i'm just here to tell you this is the beginning of my sports car journey i'm not looking to get too in deep to it just enough to learn to resell them i definitely don't want to collect them it's not really something i'm into like my pokemon cards but uh that's the card stuff uh i've had a lot i've done a ton of sorting today since we've been back from the thrift but uh I also bought a stack of cds and you'll see more custom table builds on this channel like you saw uh, on the episode a couple weeks ago for the cards, I'm going to build a custom table for one of my booths just for CDs. And uh, we're going to go back to the bins tomorrow. And this is something I hope to find more of because I've been selling these like hotcakes too. Just popular modern music and a little bit older music. I put them in a jewel case, a few bucks a piece. Uh, sometimes every now and then there will be one that's worth even more, even if it's a loose disc. So need to go home and build a custom table for that. But look for when we go to the bins tomorrow for me to try to find. I'd like to go home with a stack of CDs like that. You know what I'm saying? But the only other stuff I have laid out here, uh, we priced a uh, pop. And Hannah's put it on eBay already, so we're trying to make some money before we even get home with that. Uh, these flutes are awesome, man. Uh, I'm keeping the blue one because it's a cheapie. Nobody wants this. You can go buy this on Amazon for 80 bucks right now. So I'm not tempted. I, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to trade that in like I do some others. On our older episodes, I take flutes like this, trade them in for like a hundred dollars store credit. So that's gonna be converted into video games. But that's kind of the highlights of today's finds. I mean, obviously we found a lot more. We'll throw it all in a pile for you to look at when we get home. But I figured I would share a little bit more about today because we did good. High fives. Now let's uh, 
let's go get some pretzels, Hannah. What do you think? Yeah. Pretzels. Pretzels. Vegas pretzels. Woo. somebody's organization here, Latin female artists, Latin male artists. It is all, all Latin. I'm leaving the Good Wolf Bands with an absolute cart full. That's our, that's our biggest cart full yet on this trip. I'm telling you, we got some good stuff. I know you didn't see clips of quite everything, but it's just hard to film in there, like I said. But Hannah got just an absolute crap ton of jeans, one Tupperware, and this whole bag is full of toys, CDs, and all kinds of awesome stuff. A few books, DVDs. Didn't leave anything spectacular. Like yesterday, that, that thing of cards was just crazy. I don't think I got anything crazy like that today, but I got some stuff I'm happy about. All right, guys, we're rolling up to another Savers. Got some friends with us today. Hey. And everybody's finding some good stuff. What are you guys looking for? Uh, games, man. Games? Cool stuff. Consoles. Cool stuff? <laughs> well, we know what Hannah's looking for. I don't know. I just, honestly, if we buy too much more, Hannah's going to have to sit on it on the way home. <laughs> just want to find one Bratz doll. <laughs> just I one. Need one. Have y'all found one at all? Not at all. Now's your last chance. Ugh checking out the women's jeans with it not being half off Monday I'm a little scared to get into this because now I gotta pay full price but hopefully we find something cheap the uh, selection here oh these are cute oh they got like little pencil holder things those are really cute they look short though let's see they're like kind of capri length, but I think, I mean, capris always make really good shorts, so. It would be a little bit long for a short situation, but I think since it's like a carpenter style, we can get away with it. It'll be like a little grunge. That's the price on it. Oh heck, they're $2.99? Why not, right? Why not? I know it's never a good idea to put all your faith and hope into one thrift store to give you what you want, but come on, I need a Bratz doll. Just one. I just want one. There's a lot of dolls here. Oh. I don't feel confident though. I really don't. Come on, show me the big heads. Show me the weird feet. Hmm. Well, Barbie's having a good time with all her Barbie friends, but not a brat stall to be found. Oh well, Lee's on the other side of the rack. She is schooling me on some good shoe trends that are happening right now, showing me some things that she really loves and teaching me some stuff that I should be picking up. But she did point out these. Harley Davidson wedge heels. They're seven bucks, which that's about like my max for shoes, but they are branded Harley Davidson. They're not in horrible shape. They're a teensy size though, but I do like them. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and, and spring for them. 
those are so cute. And those adorable. Oh my gosh, you're getting those, right? These, yes. <laughs> uh, oh, just so happens they're my size. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> those are cute too. I like them. Are you on the fence about them? You know, I am only because they're a little dirty, but I think yeah. with a Lysol wipe, you could clean it up. Oh, for sure. I think those are so good. You've got I such a good like eye. <laughs> oh, thank you. I just like this color. Yeah, the stripey bottoms. That's where it's at. What'd you get? Two flippy floppies? Some flippy floppies that are really cute. Rocky Horror Show. That's don't awesome. know if I want to keep these or sell these. I'm just getting there for Both. sale. Wear them for a couple weeks. <laughs> That's how I get down. That's awesome. Look at this. This yeah, is cool, cool too. Show. I like how it's two tone, the tape itself. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Even the even the like spindles are red. That's oh, cool. Oh, that's so cool. That. That's awesome. Good finds. What'd you get? I got a pair of Harley Davidson heels Very and nice. some Bill Blast cargo oh. pants. Uh-oh. Rip. <laughs> well, guys, I'm glad we got to hang out with you because if we hadn't, we'd probably have skipped the Goodwills this trip. We hadn't been to one yet. Oh, really? Yeah. This looks like a good one. We, I've never been here at all, so. All right. So that'll be good. This will be a good, good will. All right, tell me what you're looking for. DVDs, VHSs, man. 90s VHSs to be exact. Yeah, Did you say you sell your uh, records in your antique malls or on Depop or uh, both? Depop. Depop. Depop is awesome. Yeah, Depop's the wave right now because uh, antique mall is too slow for me. Well, a lot of people slow. don't even know that you can shop for stuff like that on Depop, but you can. I've bought video games on Depop once or twice. Oh, really? I've not done that yet. There's a whole lot going on in there. Look at that. It's like missing half his packaging and then his arm's falling off. Yeah. So we took it apart. Yeah. Right back. These are definitely not gonna make it back to Phoenix with us. Unfortunately, they are too delicate, but look how cool these are. Little rascals, so cool. From the mark on the bottom says King World Production 1979, which I'm guessing May West 1979. They're really cool. Someone's gonna like those quite a bit. Okay, we gotta talk about something hard now. We were just in that Goodwill and I missed, I missed a great opportunity. Um, it's because I'm dumb is what happened. I'm just a dummy. I'm not someone who gets too torn up when I miss the good deal. I'm really not. I can't really even sit here and think of a time now where I just lost my mind because I was unlucky enough to be second to the thrift store. Because we, we thrift so much that if I just wait long enough, whatever I'm looking for shows up, I'm usually content. But we were just in that Goodwill and you guys ask me in the comments all the time, what's your grail? What's the one thing you just want to find above all else? And I swear to you, the answer that at least sometimes has been, I want some Yu-Gi-Oh dungeon dice monster toys in box for my Yu-Gi-Oh shelf. And I've, I've said this once or twice on the channel. I'd love some of those on that shelf. We just went down the toy aisle in that Goodwill and there's nothing worth talking about or showing you guys. There's only one aisle, but I didn't go down the other side until later i came back around the store went down the other side and a guy was standing there scanning inbox Yu-Gi-Oh dungeon dice monsters on his ebay app and it's gonna take me an hour or two to get over <laughs> so sad for you i'll be fine in an hour you know it's probably better because he's probably gonna resell it he's gonna make himself some money and i was gonna keep it so i don't want to be selfish i was gonna keep it and look at it for the rest of my life i've actually never owned anything dungeon dice monsters nothing uh it's honestly a terrible game. You should never play it. But it would look awesome on my Yu-Gi-Oh shelf, wouldn't it? I mean, that's a, that's a pretty rare find. <laughs> it is. It, I, I, it's probably, in boxes, probably 100 bucks. Well. I don't think the guy's watching, but if you are, congratulations. <laughs> I'm really not mad at you. I just, I'm mad at myself. I deserve this. Aww. I just didn't go down the other side. What's wrong with me? I don't know. It happens. It happens. You guys comment below, do you ever have that happen? I know yard sale people, if you watch people that make yard sale content, you get some pretty serious com competition between people, you know, locals, stuff. I, we don't run into a lot of that. And I'm not in competition with that guy, but 
Man, I would have liked to put that on my shelf. I'll oh. find some one day. It, it might be five years from now, but we'll find some dungeons. I think I have a couple figures actually, but nothing in box. Pour one out for your homie here. All right, we're going to another thrift store right now uh, with these guys. Something local that we've never heard of. Uh, do you see it? Yeah. I need to head to the left. Yeah. By the Dutch Bros. Mm. I say when I. When I turn right, I say, hang a Ronald. What do we say for left? Louis? I do say that, but I don't think that's as good as Ronald. Louis? All right, comment, <laughs> comment below. What do we say for hanging left? Since it was Harry Potter, I used to do Harry Potter thing, but I'd say, hang a Lupin or something, or a Lucius. <laughs> hang a Ronald, hang a Lucius. So like Ronald Weasley and Lucius. <laughs> I'm just gonna be. I just turned the camera off. I'm gonna be bummed. Right I need now. an hour to get over this. I don't listen. I'm telling you, we've made 700 episodes on this. I've maybe complained once about someone else getting something. This is the one time. This is the one, that's one thing I would have loved to have had on my shelf. It's not even about the money. I would have never sold it. I would have slept with it. <laughs> Cuddled. In your your giant. Do I look mad? I feel like I. This is what anger. I'm not an angry person. This is probably what anger feels like, you're, or self-loathing. Really, you don't look mad. You just look sad. Like you I'm look a bit amused. Disappointed. With, well, I'm a bit amused with myself. Like I feel silly that I feel this mad about it, but because it just doesn't happen this much. It really doesn't. Okay, Castaways is where we're going. Check it out here. Look, Castaways. It's a big open sign painted on the windows. I think that's a good sign. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do castaways. They're, they're here in the parking lot waiting for us because I've been in the Goodwill parking lot bitching about you. Crying. I'm crying about Yu-Gi-Oh! toys. I'm going to have to buy myself something nice here just to make it up to myself. Sorry I took so long. I was in the car crying about my missed Yu-Gi-Oh! toys. It's just, it's awful. Uh, oh, careful. We went down one side of the toy aisle. Not the other. The other side had something that I collect. Uh -huh. Another guy bought it. I was gonna say, if you see anything here you really want, you can have dibs. Uh, I'm just. Uh, if they're not expensive, there's some collectible stuff here. I bet they're like a flat price because there's no prices. Okay, sweet. There's some good stuff here. they have behind the counter. Alright, I've got some bad news. Did you see that fat stack of games I just grabbed? They were all empty. So I took them up front and I was like, do you guys have the cases back here? And she said, these are empty. These are all empty. Um, she said, no. I was like, oh. I was like, oh, crap. And she says she actually just brought them all out and she never checked them. So they're they were brought in this way. Nobody stole them. She said she literally just brought them out. That's better news that they weren't just all stolen. I literally found one that actually has the disc in it. You don't need any empty cases, do you? They're gonna throw all these away. Every single one. There's one game. I wish. Well, if they're going through them, you can have that game. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> well, at least I could do. Well, I was going to see, because uh, uh, your prices are nice and cheap. I just, I, I honestly... so bad. I, you I, know, like I said, Brian normally does it, but I thought, let me give him a helping hand right. and bring these out. Well, I'd, I'd take the rest of the cases, but I drove my tiny car here, so there's just no room for them. But How tiny is this car? It's a smart car. <laughs> it's oh, as small as they come. <laughs> love that car. How did they drive? I, you know, I went to buy one of my son-in-law, because you don't want one of those. Like, well, yeah, I do. Um, a lot, there's, the main thing, people think they're dangerous because they're so small. And they are in that no one sees you, it's like being on a right. motorcycle. Oh, nobody sees you, But okay. as far as crash rating goes, it's it's average. Well, uh, you know, that wasn't my concern. I just, they was, don't, you know. They don't get up and go very fast. Okay. So that's, that's it. I'm in a hurry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be in a hurry in one of those. But the gas mileage is... Like 40 miles yeah, to the exactly, gallon. Yeah, exactly. Well, I filled up my car this week and I was like, $40. You know, did you throw those other ones away? Uh, Felix probably did. They're probably in the trash can at the front desk. She'll give them to you. I just, I hate to leave them. I could recycle them. I'm sick and tired of my emotions being played with. <laughs> oh, here's a Yu-Gi-Oh toy, psych. Oh, here's some good games, psych. That's how you know it's time to go home. Well, look yeah, at dude, this. That's happened to me too many times. This vintage 
cast iron, but I have no idea what brand it is. Because it's all gummed <laughs> it's up. all gummed up. So do I ungum it and hope that it's a good brand? Uh, but if I ungum it, I have to ungum all of it. Right. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. But it's two bucks, though. It could be a Griswold. It's got it's got the number right here, which a lot of them do. Yeah. But that it's not not a Griswold. Well, it's just another way to set yourself up to get let down, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Any other day, this scene, walking out of the thrift store, arms full of games would be awesome. But the Yu-Gi-Oh started the bad luck. We don't need to go thrifting anymore while we're here because it's just all downhill from here or oh, uphill. No. Is it downhill or uphill? <laughs> not, Whatever's harder. I feel like that's pretty cool though. I mean, this is nice. This is more like, like I, I don't need this many spare cases, but I just couldn't <laughs> leave them. She said, take them. So I said, okay. <laughs> all right. Um, experimental repacking, take one. I don't know. We got to figure this out. All right. The bin stuff and the miscellaneous saber stuff, like this bag full of controllers and games, and anime and play scripts. I think we're gonna shove down these cracks. What do you think, Hannah? What do you think about cracks? Useful. We look like homeless people which I'm not really ashamed about. If you gotta keep 600 pairs of jeans in your smart car, fine. Fine. You think it's 600? Can you ride with it up that far? Yeah. All right, well, let's neatly start cramming all those game cases. Okay. There's still a pair of shoes down there. All right, we got the roly-poly method going on, right? You're doing roly-poly? Roly-poly. Is it roly-poly or burrito? Burrito, I guess. I had to turn the air conditioner on because my camera was starting to melt, so the car's running now. So uh, we're gonna make all these cram into as tight a space as possible. Get a good look because that's all gonna be super condensed. I, for once, actually want someone to come out and ask what we're doing because this is awesome. I feel. <laughs> rolling. I bought these thumb drives at the bins, I just couldn't leave them. But I also don't need all this, so I need to open them. But I don't have a knife. Pair of scissors in the glove box. That's true. My fist scars. They're not a sponsor, but I have done paid work for them. Just complete transparency here. But I do highly recommend their product. They're just golden. Also, it's it was a lot of fun. Hear people all around the country pronounce Fiskers in a different way. Fiskars, Fiskers, Friskers. Fiskers. There you go. Four extra thumb drives. This is the hoarder in me coming out. Why do I need four four gigabyte thumb drives for? Well, actually, you'd be surprised. Um, different consoles have different booting systems so if i have to reset different consoles i keep one thumb drive per console so i'll actually use them uh, okay you got all that stuff down in there probably on the dash i just don't want them to melt yeah we might need to bring them in tonight and then just leave them on there for the drive well we can leave them in the floorboard overnight i'll put them on the dash for now we've got one in our hotel room that's worth a thousand of these this looks ridiculous though. If we if we leave these on, if I left these pops on here overnight, 100% chance our car gets broken into. Oh, yeah. Should I smack it? No. <laughs> All right, we're back in the hotel room. This is honestly my favorite part of thrifting. When you get to come home and bring it all in and just dig through it. And as much thrifting as we've done in the last several days, it's like we come back to the hotel room and I, it's almost like finding it all again because I'm just so overloaded I forgot what we got so like I was digging through this bag and I was like oh yeah just a bunch of CDs and all these with their slip covers so I've already put a few of them in jewel cases that I left the bins with today I've been selling these for anywhere three to seven even a couple of them twelve dollars a pop um, seems crazy doesn't it that people would still pay that much for CDs but certain CDs certain artists they will I don't have anything crazy special like that today a lot of this is just gonna be uh, two dollars three dollars a pop in our antique mall but uh, very excited I'm actually excited to go home and get all these cased up and priced for our antique malls 
Same with the cards. That's cool. Any, uh, the only other real highlights today, uh, some pops here. This Dalek is not a pop, but it was actually at the same bin as these other two pops. Um, very common pop here with Penguin. This is slightly uncommon, nothing super fancy, but I think even loose, it'll be an easy 15 in box. I saw it had sold recently for like 40 bucks and stuff, but that's a Weeping Angel from Doctor Who, if any of you are unfamiliar. Kind of a creepy char character. Don't you think so, Hannah? Yeah. Hannah. It still scares me. I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> Hannah acts creeped out by IRL all the time. Uh, but Hannah, what was your favorite thing that you brought home today? Um, I got a pair of floral printed high-waisted 90 shorts. Those were probably my absolute favorite. I'm going to get those listed tonight. Oh, you're going to photo photograph them, get them online, right? That's awesome. Get them done. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to, we're going to wake up tomorrow and either drive straight home or at least stop at the bins. I told Hannah I want to stop at the bins and you said, I don't know where we're going to put any more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we did get it in a way where we don't, we're going to be comfortable driving home. It's all crammed down to the back, but yeah, if we go find any other handful of stuff, it'll be a little bit awkward. I thought this was the best toy I found today, but he's missing an arm. I just realized, Rip. I just realized while filming this. So I guess that's going to get thrown away. All right. Well, are we going to do anything else tonight? We're gonna get some sneaky snacks later, but that might be it. <laughs> you wanna eat pretzels again? Mmm, <laughs> there's so many good options here. You know what I want? Mm. I want some chips and dip. All right. <laughs> That's very specific. It is, we're gonna have to go to the grocery store for that. All right, let's go. We are checked out of our Vegas hotel room, uh, but you can see here we have just a little bit of head space. So we're gonna go to the bins one more time on the way out of town and try to fill that space with some jeans. I think we can do it. You think so? Oh yeah. card game, playing mat, event deck, special condition deck, Italian card. I don't even know what it's for, but I'm probably just gonna get it, look it up later. It's a nice mat either way. Yokai watch. Heck yeah. This bin stocks faster than any Goodwill bins I have ever, ever been to. It makes it hard to leave because like right now they're restocking another another roll of crap and I want to go look at it. But <laughs> we, we actually got just enough to fill in the dead space in the car. So we're not going home with any extra space. I feel good about that. Uh, I got a bunch of Pokemon stuff. What'd you get? Bunch of jeans. Four jeans. I started out with a pencil box and then a trapper keeper and then a stress ball. That's awesome. It's pretty awesome. All right. Let's eat and then let's go home. Let's leave the 110 degree heat and go to the 120 degree heat. Oh, lovely. which is kind of between Vegas and Phoenix where we're heading back home. There's this thrift store called the Ark Thrift Store and I'm pretty sure one of you guys told me to stop here last time. So we're gonna check it out today. I'm not seeing any toys yet, but I'm still looking. 
I think I just saw Hannah walking around with a bunch of jeans. Oh Lord, what'd you find? Um, so I found a $5 rack, right? Everything on the rack's $5. Everything is $5 in this section. Oh wow. So, You're like buried in here too, look. I have done a deep dive because I found one, two pairs oh, no. of Levi's shorts. And get this. This whole rack here. Ozark? They're Ozark Mountain. Oh. Aren't they beautiful? These are all five bucks? They're five dollars. Look at these. No. You know you know that brand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know it well. Oh, Look at the back. Beautiful. They're almost they're almost like pleated, but someone just ironed them really yeah. well. I thought they were pleated <laughs> for a second. Oh, they're beautiful. So well, you're five dollars you're... a piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of like looking over to try to figure out which ones are actually worth getting and which ones aren't. Um, five dollars isn't bad, but some of these Ozark Mountain ones don't sell as well as like the Rockies do. So I'm definitely getting the Rockies and the Levi's. But uh, I really like these specialty pairs where they're like a different color. So, like this one, she's a little basic. So we'll see if we'll get that one. Wow. I'm excited. Well, I got some games. Neat. I mean, you gotta get those, don't you? Well, we just found out that everything in the store is like super on sale. So the jeans that Hannah thought was five and she wasn't going to get, they're all actually half off, 250 So she's going to get those. And then this rack here, stuff's like a dollar. So I'm going to pretty much get all the Levi's. She's going to have to sit on them on the way home, but we're, we're way closer to home than we were. So it's worth it. Might, that might have actually been the best video game I got. I don't know. I don't remember what we got, but one for PlayStation 1. And then uh, about as many jeans as any one day haul at the bins in Vegas. That was a good stop. <laughs> that was crazy. We've been messing up. The Goodwill here is not bad, but it's not great. We need to make sure we come here when we go through King Rick. For sure. For sure. Where are these going? In your floorboard? I guess. Give me a. We weren't packed until just now. This is how I thought I'd have to drive home. <laughs> <laughs> you can cram them around when we start driving. <laughs> Give a shot at me, this is silly. This is good. <laughs> That's what pack ratting looks like right I there. Take a nap now. The back doesn't look that bad because it's so covered by our seats, but that looks bad. <laughs> We are home sweet pineapple. And we're gonna unload this thing. I'm kind of nervous about how it's gonna go. How are we gonna do this? Do I guess how many pairs of jeans are in here? Are we gonna count them right now? No, take a guess. You're all, you... We'll count them later. What's your guess? <laughs> I'm gonna go, you guess first. I'm gonna go 48. Ooh, I was gonna go 55. All right. See, you're close. <sighs> I'm pulling, like earthing. I'm pulling it from the bottom. Look at that though. If that doesn't look like I've been to the Goodwill bins. Oh, it's like shopping all over again. I'm like, oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I can't believe that I got this at the bins today. This feels like three days ago. <laughs> Counting the jeans, and it is way over what either of us thought. 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. We're gonna hit 80. 76. 76 pairs of jeans. That's just jeans. <laughs> Will you guys comment below? Were you anywhere close? I can't believe that many jeans fit in a smart car. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> I mean, I've heard of how many licks to the center of a Tootsie Roll pop. Uh, but I've never heard that one. All right, go ahead and give us a walkthrough real quick of everything you got. Just kind of enlightening round. I mean, we've already seen it all once, but uh... Okay, so we got 
one corset, we got one sweater, two t-shirts, two skirts, one scarf, two dresses, we got a pair of roller skates, we got some clogs, some heels, and some shoes for your boy. And we got a couple pairs of overalls. These are all just summer shorts of random brands. These are all specialty pairs of like teeny tiny vintage denim that I got on the very first day. I was super excited about that. One pair of Wranglers, little pair of plaid pants, a little Eeyore sweatshirt, some specialty pairs for custom work. What's that? That's a Pantar. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a couple pairs of Lee jeans here. These are all random brands of like medium tier denim that I'm either gonna rework or um, cut into shorts and that kind of stuff. Um, this is all that haul from the very last thrift store. That was like three hours ago. <laughs> yes! These are all those Western Ozark jeans and that pair of Rockies is in here too. That was crazy. Those are all just Levi's shorts. And then we have medium wash Levi's. We've got light wash and dark and uh, black for my custom work. How many pairs of black denim is that? <sighs> I think it was like 10 or 12. You needed that more than anything, right? I needed that more than life. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna run through the stuff that I got as well, but you'll forgive me if I uh, take a moment to bandana myself because we just carried all this stuff in tell them how hot it is out there hannah do you even know it is super toasty it's about 118 degrees oh lord it averaged about 110 well it was right at 110 almost every day we were in vegas and uh, that was hot enough but the whole time we were in vegas people on our discord back here in town uh which go join our discord if you haven't already link in the video's description but uh, several people that live here in town were posting the screenshots of the temperature here in phoenix what we were missing out and we missed out on an extra 10 degrees but now that we're home i'm feeling it because it is hot let's run through all this i'll start right here with this bag this is just a bag of nonsense it's full of sports buttons that i pulled the first day we were there some thread i got for hannah uh, just toys, nonsense, uh, you know, just absurdities. There's no, no reason to really <laughs> linger on that bag too long. But uh, two disc golf discs, which is awesome, though it just got too, way too hot to even talk about disc golf. So this was actually one of my favorite finds right there. The last stop of the bins, this Pokemon binder. I will be putting some of my Pokemon cards in there. Um, Pokemon pencil box. Unfortunately, the front of it <laughs> is a little well used, but I feel about 80% certain I had this when I was a kid. Because this seems very familiar to me. But this will live over here on this shelf. I'm not gonna put it there right now because it needs some organizing. Uh, but, and then a Pokemon stress ball. Um, Squishmallow, right? The only Mario thing I think I found on the whole trip, unfortunately. This is probably one of the coolest things too. Again, that last stop at the bins. Tons and tons of Yokai watch discs and a Yokai watch. Uh, there's a couple like Bakugan cards and other stuff in here, but that's the most. Oh, there's even a Pokemon coin. I didn't see that one. That's the most yokai discs I've ever found at once. And I don't think I've ever brought green and red ones home, and this bag's full of them. So we got a lot of those. Uh, Minecraft sword, which is good because I'm collecting Minecraft stu stuff these days. I kind of just put all my books and media in a row. So a couple manga, some bootleg Minecraft books, more manga, Star Trek, Animorphs book. I actually collect magic stuff, something I've very rarely ever talked about on the channel, but I have a library of magic trick DVDs. I really do. 10 or 12. It's not a library, but 10 or 12. <laughs> That'll be added to VHS, anime, Civil War on Blu-ray, which is pretty awesome. Uh, Punisher graphic novel. And these are the only video games I got that are actually video games. The only thing that I think was great really was... This PS1 copy of one. The rest of this stuff, it, it has its discs and that whole stack of course was that thrift store that was just void of discs. Really weird, I know. And then those three Switch cases were from the bins. PC game, Homeworld, PC game, MIG 29, PC game, Jeff Gordon, those PC games were from the bins. The pops we brought home, nothing really special except for Thor and Oakenshield and those Voldemorts are not pops, but they're pops-ish. Uh, the only other pop worth talking about, I think that Weeping Angel is semi-uncommon. Two flutes, vacuum sealer, inbox Xbox, two Xbox 360 controllers. The Xbox already has two controllers in it, so that's awesome. Uh, one, my favorite thing I think that I brought home, that Tyco drum pad. Super stoked about that. 
I don't think I ever showed you guys inside of it, so let me create myself a pathway here. <laughs> Tiptoe. Punisher can go in your jeans. Dinosaur mask, you control with your jaw, but it's like a kid size, which is pretty cool. But this is pretty much all here, except for the game, actually. It is missing the game. I don't remember. We shot the bit where we found this like three days ago. I don't remember now if I said, but it doesn't have the game. So I'll be, I'll be finding the game. But this will go over here on my PS2 shelf. I have about, I'm getting close to, I think, 900 PS2 games. So that'll look real nice. PS2 logo sticking up on the shelf there. I think the only other thing worth talking about, the two flutes that I brought home, uh, one of them needs minor repairs, but it's all just adjustments that I can do, as well as take some spare parts from a bum flute I already brought home from the bins once. Actually, that flute needs one of these. It's pretty much the main thing, so I'll just steal it from this one. Uh, but I will be trading that flute in at the game store for some video games. Which is a weird sentence to say if you don't know what we've done here on the channel. We, we trade musical instruments in at the store that gives us store credit and then we buy video games from the store with them. Hey, what did I miss? I mean, there's a couple action figures. This Cobra figure was cool. Um, I got a stack of Lego manuals and stuff. It was pretty awesome. Uh, oh, these two things. A whole bag of sports cards, which is awesome. And then this whole bag of CDs. And I'm actually going to, as soon as this video is done, I'm going to be putting all of those CDs into cases and getting them ready for our antique mall. What else, Hannah? The oh, the crown jewel! <laughs> I've been showing this to everybody. <laughs> everybody I come across, look at this Kobe. Um, it's just such an odd thing to have. Uh, comment below, what should I do with it? Should I put it in our antique mall in a lockbox or something? Should I... Just throw it up on eBay. Should I take it to a store? Not unlike the one we take the musical instruments to and get a hundred dollars or so of trading credit out of it. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Should I keep it and let it appreciate? That's another option. Maybe it'll go up one of these days and I can get a little more out of it. I don't mind to sit on it for a little while. I don't know. Tough call. It was from Vegas. Gambling, you know. So you're <laughs> saying we should sell it and go back to Vegas and put it all on red? Or put it all on the Goodwill bins. Yeah, well, we will be going back to Vegas again soon just to do this again because we need to take the bread truck back and fill the bread truck up because this, we, it's like, object, it's like uh, achievement completed. Yeah. We have filled the, the smart car up by thrifting. I don't know. I feel like we could have fit a few more things in there. We could have. I mean, on the way home, certainly, you know, but after that last grab of jeans and stuff, you definitely had stuff piled on top of it. I did. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what's your favorite thing that you brought home? You pick and I'll think about it. My, my roller skates. Your roller skates? I'm so excited about those. The <laughs> runner-up is the cast iron skillet, but the roller skates are my favorite. That's awesome. I don't know what to pick. Uh, let me just pick something real quick. Blue Flute is awesome. Thorn and Kobe were money makers. That's cool. Uh, I have to pick something, don't I? I'm going to go yeah. with Blue Flute. Blue Flute. Blue Flute. That Blue sounds flute. like you. Yeah. All right. So I think Pants is really excited about our haul. He has a new favorite bed. Hi, bud. Are you comfy? Is that your new home? You are. You're so comfy. You've been sniffing these jeans since the minute we walked in the door. Oh, Mama's here too. Mama's very happy we're home. She missed us, didn't you, Momo? You did. <laughs> well, good night, pants. I guess we'll know where to find you in the morning. Bye, bud. All right, another week of thrifting done. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. I'm gonna ask you one more time, make sure you go check out our Discord, come chat with us and show us your thrifted stuff from this previous week or the next week before our next video comes out, uh, but also a link below for our podcast channel. Uh, our live shows are gonna be here on this channel. We're gonna have this whole channel to um, do live shows, pre-recorded podcasts, and maybe even some eventually like reaction videos or something 
yeah. fun that we couldn't do somewhere else. If you're not sub to it already, get subscribed. Uh, get an extra video a week out of us that way. Sometimes two over there on that channel. Uh, but that's going to be it, guys. Please come back for next week because we have more and more adventures just like this one you just watched planned for the next several weeks. And we would love to have you here for all of them. So subscribe, help the channel grow, but also turn those notifications on so you can come back for those videos. Uh, but other than that, you can click on this link right here. That is gonna take you to Hannah's channel. This link down here will help you subscribe to this channel if you're not already. This video up here, you can check out uh, that podcast channel I was talking about and this video right here. I don't know, something YouTube's gonna make up for you to go check out. Check it out. Till next time, peace out.